get ready to imagine it with the chief scientist at the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. We have yet another demonstration that just shows how important it is to adhere to some safety protocols this holiday season. And really, this is about what could potentially happen if things go wrong. Right. So I, I, I'm cooking something here on my little grill. It's caught fire. Your first reaction in the kitchen might be to reach for the fire extinguisher right, uh -huh. and sort of put it out. Bad idea there because that's just going to launch that flaming thing out of the pan and into the kitchen oh, somewhere. Yeah. All right. So we're going to hold on the fire extinguisher and do the simplest thing possible, and that is just take a lid, put it on the top. For, for combustion, you need three things, fuel, flame, and oxygen. Put the lid on, you allow it to consume the oxygen, flame goes out. Okay. So a super simple thing to do, but you know, sometimes in the heat of the moment, you're thinking grab the fire extinguisher, which you should have in your kitchen. Right. But what if you are, I don't know, frying a turkey, doing something with oil? Now oils, you can describe how they react to heat in a, in a couple different ways. One is by talking about the smoke point, which is I think what we have here. We've heated up some oil in this pan and it's smoking. Yeah, okay. what type of oil is it? This is actually paraffin because it's just easy to clean up. But you could use olive oil, um, you could use canola oil, all different kinds of oils. For this demonstration, it actually just works easier to um, use the paraffin. Got it. Now, the smoke point is where it begins to smoke, so we get vapor coming off. The flash point is where that vapor, there's so much of it that it can actually catch fire briefly. Now, you've probably seen this at home. If you're, you're frying something in a pan, you skittle it around, you get some right. little flames, looks really cool, um, could be dangerous, so right. you want to avoid that. Well, you know, the opa, the flaming cheese saganaki. Yes, absolutely. So the other thing that happens after the smoke point and the flash point is what's called the fire point. That's where we've heated this up so much, and in the case of paraffin, could be around 500 degrees Fahrenheit. For other oils, it could be around uh, 400 or up to 600. Just depends. So we're going to show you what not to do. Your first temptation, if you don't have a lid, maybe throw some water on this. Don't do that. Don't, don't throw water and, on it. And we're going to show you why you don't want to do that. Tony, take yeah. a squirt bottle. Oh, boy. Hang on. We're actually, I'm going to ignite this. All right. Now, don't, don't, no, no, no. Don't, 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 don't. Don't do anything over there. Don't do anything. Let's move further away. These things actually squirt quite a ways. Look at that. Okay. I, can, I can squirt like from 10 feet away. We're going to show you what not to do. We're going to add water to that burning pool of paraffin. Go ahead and let's give it a squirt. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Terrible idea. When the water hits the oil, it immediately vaporizes, splatters that burning liquid, and you get this incredible ball of fire. That is neat. I think you're going to set up the smoke alarms in here. I hope not. Most of the smoke alarms are actually in the elevator shafts, not in the okay. HVAC. So I think we're going to be okay. But in, you know, in this case, you, you definitely do not want to add any fire like that, right. or any water, I should say. If you can, remove the pan from the heat if you don't have a lid. If you do have a lid, put the lid on. Sure. It's a, I'm going to do it one more time, but it's such an incredible demonstration. You may be thinking this is like a firework or some no, sort no, no. of special No, no, no. This is a bad situation. because This is just water and oil. Water and oil. And here we've cleared everything away. If you were in your kitchen, that spray of burning oil could end up on your walls, which could then actually, I think we've kind of, we've put it out a little bit, but yeah. not quite. Could catch your entire wall on fire, and then that's a really bad situation. So that is for sure. Definitely never, ever combine water and a grease fire in any way. There you go. That, those are words to live by this holiday season, especially if you're a first-time chef, maybe trying something Absolutely. at home, you know, because you're not around the, the experts, mom and grandma. The lid is your friend. Just put the lid back on. Right. Just Doesn't, smother it out. Just smother it. There you go. And that's how you imagine it. Now, 